Samurai Talk Part Two. Samurai Talk. So, uh, Mr. Brian Shaw and I will be debating some of the ways and means of improving uh, quality of English language uh, education, in particular. Uh, so, uh, we have uh, covered uh, language and communication. Shall we go beyond those? Yes, yes. Uh, which is what? Well, you know, I can tell you about what what I'm doing. It. Um, originally, when I came to Japan, I was teaching English, like yep. most foreigners when they come. Um, but actually, my background is in science and math and engineering. Oh, really? So I was asked uh, about five years ago, I had the opportunity, I worked with Osaka UNESCO Kyokai, mm -hmm. and we offered a program um, to top schools in Kansai of teaching mathematics and English. Wow, you did it. Yes, yeah, so we did that. that. So the very first time we did that was uh, in the summer of 2013, mm -hmm. and it was to um, Nishiyamato Gakuen mm -hmm. in Nara. And uh, we also spoke to Todaiji Todai. Gakuen. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had an interest, but um, we actually did it with the other school in for mm -hmm. that first year. Uh, but it was quite successful, and since that time, uh, it's developed. I've uh, partnered with uh, originally a travel company, Mitsu Travel, and then later I partnered with a publisher here in Tokyo. Um, it's called Kyoiko Kaihatsu Shupan, and um, actually I'm the editor of their textbook series uh, for mathematics, junior high school mathematics in English, and I help them promote those textbooks to schools around Japan. So mm. for this reason, I often come to Kanto, and um, I teach special lessons based on the textbooks and so there's are you math in, in English running the risk of uh, falling between two tools English language acquisition and thinking mm. which comes first well um, maybe you're familiar Clil is uh, becoming very popular right Clil is C-L-I-L mm -hmm. um, it's content and language integrated oh, learning. Wow. So the idea of CRIL is that you teach language and some other content, usually some academic subject, mm -hmm. in that target language. And mm. students are able to learn, you know, improve their English and improve their ability in that field. So in my case, I often teach mathematics in English. Wow. So um, I try to make it fun. A lot of students have an aversion to mathematics. They think mathematics is, is either bo boring or too difficult <laughs> or, um, or just they're just not interested. Mm. So I try to make it fun. Um, I introduce, you know, I explain English as I teach mathematics. I try to use fun examples to um, illustrate mathematical principles while speaking mostly in English, not 100% in English. Mm. So, debating skills are very close to, that are based on mathematical principles too. Mm. If you are affirmative, you talk like a affirmative. If I'm negative, I'm, I'm going to talk like negative. Yes, that's the true. Rule, very logical. Rule, right, logical. Logical. Right, right. Mm, not good. Uh, the other day, I gave a talk at the Seinan Gaku in Kyushu. Uh -huh. uh, have you ever done uh, Dibun, Sekbun? Everyone knew it. Dibun, Sekbun, what is that? Nobody knew that. <laughs> Dibun, differentiation. Yes. Sekbun, integrity. Uh -huh. And I sometimes draw a picture of a circle with a cat. Three points make a, a, a cat. That's a Dibun, analyze the differentiating part. Uh -huh. And I put them all together, and you make a real cat. Oh. That's the second one. Oh, they get it. <laughs> so this is how you do it. I, I'm, I'm glad that you're still teaching the thinking in English. Yeah, so I think that it's best to use the language to do something. So it can be debate, yes. right, mm -hmm. on a topic hopefully that mm -hmm. students are interested in, mm -hmm. um, that they can relate to, um, or it could be something related to what we call STEM, which yeah. is, you know, science, mm -hmm. Technology, right. engineering, mathematics, mm -hmm. which is uh, very popular now in education. You have a mathematical brain. You are a left-brain person. Mm, you grew perhaps. up. That, 
he was his little kid, you know. You you were born left brain. Yes, did. but it's it's quite odd actually. Um, I was very interested in art as from a very young age. Oh really? So both art and math and science. So actually in university I majored a very strange combination, physics, Butsurigaku, and fine arts, Gegitsu. You're like uh, Leonardo Da Vinci <laughs> principle. <laughs> You're a Da Vinci principal. Oh yes, and, thank and you. And the children put together art and science. Yeah, like Renaissance. Renaissance. So. You're a Renaissance man. Yeah, I aspire uh, to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Art and science, which comes first in your life? Ah, I think um, both are important. And, and when I say art, I, I should say that in a wider meaning. I mean mm -hmm. like design, because we think of art as being this thing that's, you know, that's in museums. Right. Right. I haven't been a to a museum in probably years, actually. Really? But I think art is very important um, it, it for communication, yes, like yes, if right. you're doing a presentation, for mm -hmm, example, mm -hmm. um, you need to have good visual aids, right. and mm -hmm. it's it's very important. Like for example, when I teach math, yeah. I always have visual aids. It's not just speaking, mm -hmm. but showing some PowerPoint slide or something, um, some kind of graphic, uh, and that assists the understanding, mm -hmm. and it supplements the English. Mm. Sometimes uh, visual aid and audio aid count a great deal. Absolutely. What do you say in English language? What is this? What's that? What is the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? It's anger it comes from the tonal quality, the voice mm -hmm. and something. Mm -hmm. So you have to put in uh, lots of things into English language. But see, English language is not just a language. Yes. Don't you think so? That's right. Mm. That's right. So in business communication, sometimes that you have a ma pregnant pause mm -hmm. instead of answering immediately. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, right. That counts a great deal. Yes, Th and that's that very important. Like in a negotiation, negotiation if, if somebody yeah. proposes something, you go, right. mm -hmm. that means no, usually. That means no. <laughs> uh, another thing, for instance, yes. uh, hi, hi, hi. translation, that's difficult. No, 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 that means no. Right. <laughs> oh, woman, my dead mother, you will. <laughs> So that's called uh, ma makes or breaks mm. the communication. So how does the silence, noisy silence, come in English language education? Mm. How does Nobody silence come take? in to yeah. English language education? Um, so for example, right now, um, I'm not sure how to answer that question. So mm. I repeated the question so that I didn't have any silence because that would be hazukashi. <laughs> okay, so I teach my students that when you don't really know what to say, say something. Yeah. You know, say, oh, that's a really good question. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Yeah. What do you think, yeah. for example? Oh, that was be good. M mirror response. And the Jewish people yes. are, are pretty good at silence. Like, uh, I keep forgetting the name of the guy, uh, the funniest comedian. Seinfeld. No, no, it's oh. it's uh, before that. Oh, that oh, before that, okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, I keep referring to that. It's a funny joke. Uh, and someone said, your money or life? He goes, I'm thinking it over. <laughs> 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 that got me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's silence. Yes, so what yes. you consider the master of silence. I keep forgetting the name of that. Could you remind me of the guy? The most famous probably Jewish. Probably, I know, Woody Allen, probably. Uh, no, 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 much, much older than Oh, that. much older than yeah, Woody Allen. Uh, not, not, I keep forgetting that. Well, Woody uh, Allen once right? said, he said he was riding a taxi in New York with a beautiful woman. She was so beautiful, he couldn't keep his eyes on the taxi meter. <laughs> 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 well, uh, it, Albert Einstein would enjoy that. Yes. There's a conversation talking with a good-looking woman. <laughs> the time is <laughs> short. But uh, talking with a woman, uh, talking, discussing the divorce, and the time looks much longer than it actually is. Yes. So, I was also had a sense of humor. <laughs> Where does the sense of humor come in in business communication? Oh, I think it's important um, to, for example, if, if a situation is, is very anxious or yeah. it's, it's stressful, adding some humor really yeah. helps diffuse it a bit, <laughs> right? right? Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Osaka people are pretty good at that. 
Yes, I think so. Uh, show by the left wing business, show by what I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the joke is pretty good at that. Yes. Make yes. people laugh. I, if you can't, if, if your jokes are not taken, yes. the best way to get a joke, get a laugh, is to laugh at yourself first. Right. Have you right. ever done that before? Oh, I yes. I show two prizes. I show oh, no, 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 no. I, oh, I do things that I laugh at myself all the time. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you know, we you spoke about earlier about the, the, the willingness to make mistakes it, when you're learning something. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. And um, I make mistakes all the time. You know, if I use Japanese in my lesson and I make a mistake and they say, oh, sensei, is Mm -hmm. And I say, oh, really? I'm sorry. And they laugh at me. But, but th there's a purpose to that. Mm -hmm. It's to relax students. So they see if the sensei is willing to make a mistake, they should also be willing to make mistakes. So it's, it's yeah. really giving them th a th That's a fine line between apologizing and not apologizing. There's a fine line between them. Because most of the serial killers interview them said, I didn't do it. Oh. Uh, Nobody said was they were sorry. But the Japanese might have said, sumimasen, gomen nasai, mm. to, to get more uh, get extenuating circumstances, the verdict. Sort of more sort mercy. Of mer it. More mercy, yes, more mercy. But if you said, yeah, so Adam and I've done nothing wrong. Yes. Doing, yes. Uh, murdering 30 women, serious mm. killer, mm. they never apologized. Mm. That reminds me of the Carl's gone. He mm. never apologized that. So where does the sinimasen come in? Well, I think in some cases, maybe in a serial killer. I mean, th these are people who have mental health issues. Yeah. Know, so <laughs> we can't really compare them to <laughs> people who are existing in the regular society. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, so in fact, two days ago, I was riding a train in Osaka, and there mm -hmm. was this crazy person on the platform who, mm -hmm. who made eye contact with me. And I Whoa. <laughs> and, and then I had to tell the station manager we have somebody there that, and oh. they, they immediately knew who the person was. But oh, I see. That, that bother you. Uh, how, how, how bad did the eye drops or? Um, yeah, I just, you know, when somebody, you're not really sure that they're playing by the same uh, rules, that makes then, then it makes totally you worry, uh, right? Because they might have a knife or something uh, like that, right. right? That upset you. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I wasn't sure. I was kind of, you know, I had to be on time where I was going, and I didn't have time so to mess around yeah. with somebody. <laughs> <on the platform. laughs> Ah, that happens, you know. In America, we call it the civil in indentation. Yes. Civil indentation, try not to look at anyone. Yes. Sometimes. Try to not make eye contact. Make eye contact. That but I made that mistake, and I made eye contact. When you uh, communicate in English, you have to maintain eye contact. Yes. How much eye contact? If you lock your eye, that bothers That you. could be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 what is the social distance right here? Uh, well, I, I think it, you know, it's a balance, yeah. like everything. It's like judo. Bye it's bye a balance, bye. right? So you, you want to make eye contact. You want to, you know, <laughs> sometimes you want to, you know, make, you want to touch somebody and say, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah right, right. right. But, but sometimes you want to look away, kind of Yeah, relax, yeah you're talking about back. the non-verbal uh, communication. Yeah. Shake your hands like this. Very important. The Americans like this. Right, Which right. Which is better, right? Sometimes this. like this. Sometimes, can you tell what kind of guys that we're talking to? Oh, yeah, well, shaking hands. Shake I'm glad hands. you brought up the subject. I, when I teach a, a class uh -huh. uh, of students for the first time, I teach them how to shake hands. Oh, really? Yeah, especially if it's Never the lesson. Never heard of any teacher who teaches how to shake yeah, hands yeah. Well, if I'm teaching like business or something, <laughs> mm. I was teaching a, a, a lesson just two days ago about business, and, and I taught students how to shake hands. I said, it's very important yeah. the way you shake hands. If you shake, you know, like, yeah, if you yeah. shake, shake like, like oh. this, this is, this yeah, is wimpy. Yeah. Wimpy. And, and this means I'm I'm not so interested in yeah. you. That's right. Right. I'm not really involved. Right. That's, that's right. not good. So that's you gotta, a, you gotta, like, like this yeah, thing. like it's that. Like it has to be firm, firm, but not try to squeeze the hurt. <laughs> that's good. So uh, time for you to wrap up. Uh, the, any additional comment to make? I'll do sentences interpreting. Okay. So I, I wanted to <laughs> mention uh, <laughs> something <laughs> that <laughs> that I was thinking about today. Um, there's a, a well-known investor, one of the most famous <laughs> investors, <laughs> called Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. And recently, Warren Buffett was asked the question, why are you so good at investing? What's your secret? 
Are you smarter than other people? And Mr. Buffett said, no, there's many very smart people in this world. He says, I think for me the most important thing is I know clearly what I know and what I don't know. It's very important to distinguish clearly between what you know and what you don't know. That border should be very clear. The problem that, that happens in investing is when people think they know something and they take action, but they actually don't know. They, they cannot clearly evaluate risk. So by sticking to what you clearly no, your area of competence, you can reduce risk uh, and make good decisions and improve your results. Thank uh, Michihiro Matsumoto, known as Channel Tokyo Japan with uh, Brian Shaw. Mr. Brian Shaw, thank you very much. Thank Have you me. very thank much. You. It was a pleasure. My, my pleasure.